Hi, beautiful Capricorn. Welcome to a new era. My name is Emma. Capricorn, I will just uh, give you a quick announcement about some exciting news. I hope that you find it exciting, as, exci as, as exciting as I, I am finding it. Um, I'm going to talk about it at the very end of this reading, and it's about a chance to win a personal reading with me for free. So if that uh, sounds interesting, just watch the reading and then just continue to watch it because I'll tell you all about it at the end because not everybody is interested in that. Uh, so I'm just going to start here at Capricorn with three initial cards, three initial cards to just see what's going on for you. And this is for the month of April. This is for the month of April. So for Capricorn, three initial cards. So now we're just going to go deeper into the story and have like a beautiful little story unfold here <clears throat> where we look at information, inspiration, and perhaps solution if we need it. Capricorn for the month of April, please. Two first cards. First card, this one. Time to go. Second card, higher power. First card, time to go, 45. Perhaps time to leave a situation. And then the higher power, number four. So connecting more with spirit. And then a third card. There you go. I was going to say, if that, it, ooh, it really is time to go. Not for you, number six. So the not for you and time to go is, is basically the same vibe. So we're going to see what this is about. We're going to go deeper into each of these energies. Just give me a second. Capricorn. Hmm. Interesting. I thought I was going to go. I thought I was going to go somewhere else. Like you, you have such a clear, like rational. It does that make sense? Like rational idea about where things are going when you, in, like, in the instance that you see the cards, and then we would just take a little bit of a moment to just feel into them. And this, this takes a little bit of a different route here than I thought. So perhaps that is a message within itself, Capricorn, that you thought your path, something you're doing, a relationship, a job situation, a hobby, or a health situation, a financial situation, whatever, like you thought it had a certain path and it was moving in a certain direction only for it to take, like when you just sat with it for a little bit or when you just looked a little bit deeper, you found that, oh, actually this is going to take a little bit of a different route than I thought initially. So there's time to go. What I'm seeing here is that you're definitely leaving a trail. You're leaving a mark. So whatever, maybe you're leaving a mark. Maybe you're leaving a person that's called Mark uh, or your mark leaving a person that's called something else. Uh, so the time to go is definitely, is a little bit of a, like it's time to do what you're supposed to do. What are you supposed to do, Capricorn? Like hand on your heart. What do you love to do? Why don't you just think about if you if you just already had all the money in the world and if you had just had all the all the time in the world and then sometimes we need to add if you just had all the talent in the world like what really draws you in <clears throat> and I have I have like we can't get away with saying things like I don't have the talent for that I can't do that because I'm not talented enough I have proof I'm not going to name names I'm just not going to name names uh, and only Swedish people would know this one <laughs> it's a little bit. It's a little bit mean to say it like that and then don't say the name. But I'm just saying there are certain singers in this country that I would, I would say, in my personal opinion, out of sheer passion, just sheer passion for their craft, they're hugely known in, in Sweden as singers. And in my personal, personal opinion, they cannot sing. They're average. They're fine, you know. And from the beginning, in my opinion, they could they couldn't even carry a tune. They're even out of tune, and 
and they are like one of the biggest ones that we have in Sweden. So you can't get away with not being talented. If you just have that like initial drive and passion and there's something you're just so like, man, you just love this. There is a place for you in that category. There's a place for you in that, uh, whatever that is for you. And there's something with this card here that just like, it's time for you to start to do this. Like it's time for you to immerse yourself into that passion. And it's also like you're then stepping away from something else because that's shifting places now. So whatever you're stepping away from, you're definitely like with all the stardust, it's like wherever you go, Capricorn, uh, I was almost calling you something else. What was that? It was almost a name, like a, like a first name for someone. Is that I'm hearing? Cassandra. Cassandra, I guess. Okay, very, very specific, and I rarely get names. So maybe someone named Cassandra just really needs to hear that one today. Um, <clears throat> I look so poofy here today, and I feel a little bit poofy. To be very, very, very personal, uh, I have just entered into my period, and with a full moon around it, and with my period at the same time, I sort of, <laughs> I, bl I just... <laughs> blow it up into this ball uh, and feel a little bit witchy as well. Okay, uh, maybe TMI for some, I don't know. You're leaving a mark. Time to go into something that you feel really passionate about and, it, and you're leaving something behind that you feel very, um, maybe you're really, really in it. And so therefore maybe colleagues, coworkers, like business partners, uh, or just leaving even a town, like leaving your community to go to do something else, like it's time to go. And you're gonna leave a mark, like you're gonna be missed in whatever you're leaving. So maybe that's why it's also a little bit of a trouble for you to move forward because it's, because it's quite nice where you are. It's not, you know, sometimes we just need to just feel the horrific situation of it. Like we just create the most worse scenario <clears throat> just as bad as it can get so that it's easier for us to leave. And I believe the same thing with death. Okay. Uh, higher power. It's time to connect with the higher power. It's time to connect with your spirit, with source. And just feel this crown really opening up there. Third eye and crown is just really in, uh, in partnership. <clears throat> and that speaks like meditation connection just having that clearer picture is going to come from you connecting more clearly with source we're going to go deeper into each and every one of these and see what's going on there this is going to open an opportunity the window of opportunity i just feel like very much the same color scheme coming from this color scheme into this it's like it seeps into this and it opens up this window of opportunity and whatever like black and white situation you had, whatever like structured blah, 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 <laughs> lots of blah, blah, blah. Maybe that's like a sure thing uh, for an income for some. That's a, that's the person you've been with for like such a long time. This is the company you've been with for such a long time. It's just not for you. You're not supposed to be here anymore. Your time, it's time to move on. Number six speaks about 45 adds up to number nine, so that's an ending. And then we have forage, which is a heartfelt matter, and you're building a new foundation for yourself with the six, which is love and harmony. So it's like this shift is going to only get better the more you <clears throat> get into what it, tr what, what makes your heart sing? What makes your heart sing, um, Capricorn? Because that's the only way right now. So time to go. Can we just clarify that? Can we go deeper into that for, for Capricorn, please? Why is that here? For the month of April, 2022. Why is this here for Capricorn? Fulfillment of wishes. Yeah. So like, look, look at what is, like you're not always, 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 always listen to your intuition, obviously, 
this is just saying though, like if you, if you dare to leave a situation behind and if you dare to leave something that maybe, yeah, maybe it's getting you like secure money for rent. So obviously use your, use your brain, you know, in whatever choices you want to make here. It just by the energy on the table, going for this, going into this passion, taking this leap of faith, it's going to bring you so much joy and so much fulfillment. Like this is the fulfillment of wishes. So whatever you were aiming for, and I love this, that we're like parting the sea. So it might even feel like a utopia for some, like you might just even feel like that's just not, yeah, you can sit there and talk about how you know, please immerse yourself in this, into this passion. If you just only had the time or the money or the talent, well, I have neither. Or what do you say when it's three? I don't have any of those. Um, and so it's easy for you to say, well, yeah, it's kind of easy for me to say. And I understand that it's not as easy to do sometimes as it is to dream of it and then to think of it and then to actually have a plan around it and then to actually execute it. It's so vastly different. But there's something like in order for your pure happiness and in order for you to just have a satisfying life on this earth, I know it sounds really grand, but there's something here that is just going to, it's going to feel like a utopia and like it's, it's like parting the sea. No, I only heard of one person that could do that, you know, well, Capricorn might be there with, with the next one. It's like whatever feels impossible is actually going to be possible. Okay. With the number nine there again, so there's a strong ending. We're coming to an end, but both um, the meaning of it, the meaning of the number nine, and because we have the fulfillment of wishes here, is that nine is also fulfillment of wishes. Since we have endings and we have twice it coming out saying there is a fulfillment of wish here. So if you just dare to take that leap of faith, it, it is going gonna, is gonna to turn out in your favor. So we're going to clarify the higher power as well. The higher power. A higher power. Why is this here for Capricorn, please? Higher power. Ooh, tea time. That's still really, really hot. I don't know if you see. It doesn't really pick that up. It's still like smoke coming out of it. <laughs> Why is the higher power here? I ask myself every day. Why <clears throat> is this here for Capricorn, please? I just got someone that's feeding their fish. Is that a thing? Do we still have fish at home? Like as, a, as in an aquarium? Maybe that's really like common. It's just that I don't have people. I don't have any person around me in my life at this point that has an aquarium at home <laughs> so maybe that's still a thing because i know growing up there was a lot of people having those fish tanks with like the fish at home uh i don't know if you're listening to this reading as you're feeding your fish are you thinking about getting a fish do you it's like either like a fish bowl for that gold fit goldfish or it's like this aquarium like this tank thing where you go to feed the fish that's an extra shout out for someone that's a very specific cassandra and fish tank i don't know what's up today <clears throat> interesting cassandra higher power why is this here for capricorn and for the entire month of april this is what it's all about right now There you go. Wow. Capricorn, you're moving into something quite awesome here. It's the second number six that comes out. So material and spiritual prosperity with the higher power. Like, once you never promised, but you're almost promised. Like you're gonna work, you're gonna walk into material and spiritual prosperity. Like prosperity it's like you're in you're going to come into abundance when it's when it comes to the material stuff in the world in your world 
you're going to come into abundance when it comes to the spiritual side of you. And you're going to be able to really, I love this, that we have like a, a purple shirt. You have a purple shirt on and on top of it sits this, <laughs> I don't even know what that is, but there, this red vest type of thing. Um, and I love how like everything is built on this spiritual foundation first. We're, we're first in connection with spirit, with source. And then we're getting the material needs met. And that's exactly who we are. We're an extension of source, right? So the material stuff that we're made out of is an extension, is, an, is, an, is a consequence, um, an extension of source. So we're connecting with source here first. We're doing the groundwork. We're doing the connection, the inner deep work first. And because of that, there's going to be so much prosperity in your life. There's something in here like with dare to just follow your dream dare to follow your dream capricorn i think it was like i don't know where i heard it and it was just it was just the other day like two or three days ago it was one of those like little uh commercial things that comes on before any type of any video starts and um i think it was a person there who said that three percent 3% of the population on planet Earth is living their dream. 3%. That means that 97% in some, and I don't know how this is measured. I don't know how they found that out, if that is really what's going on. But I just know for a fact that a lot of people just do what they're told in order to get food on the table. And I understand that. But like, there's so much more to life. There's just so much more to life and that we can, if we just can figure out that we're the creator of it all, that you can have it all. And if we just start there, you're going to have it all. And number six there again, love and harmony. And then we're going to clarify the not for you with a six. <clears throat> six is love. Six is also choices sometimes. And so there's like, and it, and I feel like this is more like a choice of should I stay or should I go? Like, sh should I go for this? Yes, you should. Uh, not for you. Why is that here for Capricorn, please? For the month of April. Not for you. Number six. There's a window of opportunity there. <clears throat> feel like the nine to five is just not you you just need to be creative you need to follow your passions you need to set your own rules and schedule it's almost like and i don't know who who's not but it's almost like oh some people are quite okay with having a boss telling them bossing them around and telling them exactly what to do i feel like capricorn not so much <laughs> you probably are the boss or you're the boss of your own uh your own life or your own experience like you tell you tell yourself when to get up in the morning you tell yourself when to do certain tasks when it comes to your, to your work or whatever like you're not you don't like to be told what to do <clears throat> not for you and then the, we have then deception and envy which usually comes out when stuff is really starting to good to good to go really really well for someone um, and that there's people are in your surroundings having issues with your changing things. And so if that is like you're leaving a company, you're leaving a relationship, you're leaving a situation behind, and you're, and you're going for your passion, for the wish fulfillment, for getting the material and spiritual prosperity, this is like someone is gaining, someone is gaining, um, what is that called? Recognition. Like, so Capricorn is gaining recognition. And whether that is like from your immediate family, if that is like from a bigger community, if that is like you're becoming like a household name, at least in your country or even even worldwide. I don't know. I don't know what you're up to here, Capricorn. But by the looks of it, it's like you're you're coming into greener pastures here, and it's not going to sit well with some people. They're going to either like. 
<clears throat> either you know those people that's like that's not that's never going to work like are you crazy to quit your job like you just pick your people and sometimes even be quiet with whatever it is that you're doing um if you're strong enough to stand in your truth if you know exactly but it, but by the looks of it because you haven't chosen this new path already because of for whatever reasons, like for whatever, and sometimes very sane reasons why we haven't jumped on board on something that we just feel like it's just not worth it because it might, you know, damage things in your family, it might compromise, you know, your income and, and whatever. And it's like, <clears throat> if you just talk to that one and you, tr and you want to go for your person, and you just, uh, person, sorry, you want to just go for your dream and it's that one person that just, um, you know, you, you start to share the passion you have or the excitement or the, like, what do you think? Do you think, like, I can do, I can do this? And to take that one person and say, no, no, you cannot. Are you crazy? And they, like, it takes that one person to talk you right out of it. The, the very thing that you talk to you into is they're going to talk you out of it. And so sometimes, so you feel where you're at on that journey to whether like standing in your truth and speaking it out loud or standing in your truth and, and be quiet about it up until the point where you're so freaking sure about, about what you're doing, you can have 10 people saying you're crazy and you're doing it anyway because you are in alignment with your source. You know where you're going and you know that this is the truth for you. Okay, I'm going to go deeper into this in the in the extension and see what else we have here for you. So if this sounds interesting, if this is your story, you're so welcome there. We have two options. One is Vimeo and the other one is a donation site where you can go buy me a coffee to just support the channel. And, but that also opens up to the extensions that I have there <clears throat> where you can listen to the extensions not only for Capricorn but for every other sign as well. So... Thank you so much, guys. I'm going to move into the talk about the draw or competition, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> so what I want from you to be a part of this draw, and the reason I even came up with this draw to, to be able to win a personal reading with me was that I was like, okay, so how can we send more love into the world right now? How can we just, you know, stabilize the climate a little bit without focusing on all the bad stuff that is going on? Because there's enough people focusing on the bad stuff that is going on. And we just don't need to add any more to that. We need to just be more in balance and more focused on the love and laughter of, of things. And I figured if we sit in like three to five minutes and just be sit in something that you feel so grateful for. Or that you feel really, really just strong love around. If you can close your eyes and just sit in that love vibration for a bit or sit in gratitude, whatever you feel grateful for in your life right now, like a situation or a person, and then ooze out that beautiful love energy into the world, that's going to that's gonna make a difference. And as a beautiful little result of that, you're in the draw to <clears throat> win a personal reading with me. And so if you want to, you can just, you can post in the comment section what you're grateful for, what you feel love for. If you don't want to be that private or personal, you can just write something like I'm in, whatever that makes me understand that you want to be a part of the draw because not everyone, um, believe it or not, <laughs> not everyone uh, is interested in that. And so just make me understand that you want to be a part of it, okay? And I promise you that if you write I'm in, you're equally in the draw than if you write like page up and page down with what you're grateful for, okay? Because spirits is gonna help me to pick the to pick the winner. I will announce this on the 14th of April. The 14th of April, the reason is that 14 is a new beginning for the heart and four, the month of, of um, April is a four, which is uh, a heart matter and that we're laying a new foundation. And I figured that was like a perfect numerology nerd uh, answer to that. So, uh, I'm drawing a lucky winner on the 14th of the 4th. So if you're interested, just sit in this meditation and send some good into the world and <clears throat> let me know that you want to be part of it. That's all, folks. Hope to see some of you guys in the extension. Take care.